my way down here and I grabbed a t-shirt, jump in the studio and talk a little bit about some sociological concepts. I noticed I was wearing a shirt that I wore in one of my earlier videos and I was upset because I couldn't find the one that I actually wanted to put on right now. That's what you call a first world problem. If that would have ruined my day, which sometimes you've been in those scenarios, can't find socks that match, somebody ate the last toaster strudel, get into traffic that you didn't expect on the way to work, and it completely derails the natural order of what you expected in a day. Your time is messed up. Your patterns are broken. These are called first world problems. A first world problem is a small, a small frustrating issue that concerns us in the developed, industrialized, information driven world that we are concerned about and we harp on simply because we have a lack of true problems to be concerned about. First world problems are the things in the developed, industrialized world that are complained about, that are given extra weight because of the absence of more pressing issues. Because we in America aren't on a daily basis in most of American societies and communities, maybe not all, aren't concerned with our physiological needs and our safety needs. We then move on to putting an extra importance on the th patterns and the things that make life predictable. Somebody finishing your favorite cereal, the barista at the coffee shop, not making your coffee the right way, your boss addressing you in a way that is not comfortable to you. Whereas in other places, they are concerned with being able to get to work. They may be concerned with the safety of their children in our, their absence. They may be concerned with the climate or weather, the impending storms, or something that is actually of a safety or even physiological need. But it's not just the trivial things that we joke about. It's also political issues here. I had a friend that said, hey, wow, things are so good here that you guys gotta create things to argue about politically. Let's be completely honest. In America, we are concerned with Chick-fil-A being too Christian and Starbucks not being Christian enough. But there are countries that are just concerned about finding good sustenance on a daily basis because the price of the staples and necessities of life have skyrocketed because their economy is so poor. Or regulation has made a scarcity because in Venezuela, grocery stores might be out of soap, might be out of milk or bread on a regular basis. So going to a fast food joint with reasonable prices, they're not really concerned about the CEO's religious background. Getting a drink that has happy holidays and not Merry Christmas is probably not their biggest concern. We often, because we have the blessing of not having tyrannical, dictatorial leaders, with all the dysfunction of our American political system, it operates better than many political systems around the world. So, we in turn now get to focus on the fine points or the parts of our leader's character that we would like to be better. People have made songs, Chance the Rapper, for one. Weird Al Yankovic makes a song poking fun at our first world problems. We strive for certain things in this country and we don't realize how fortunate we are that we are able to strive for those things. Simply because we're not worried about dying because of an animal attack. We're not worried about dying because the government is going to gas your neighborhood and kill everybody of a particular political party. We are not worried about going to the grocery store and them not having food. We're worried about the prices of the food. And man, we can't get the name brand. But first world problems means that your society has evolved to the point 
You can go through your society with a fine tooth comb and look for the next level of perfection, next level of organization. And first world problems. Is it something to be ashamed of? Or is it something that means that your culture and your society is growing and evolving in a direction that you should be proud of? Let me know in comments. No.